And thanks to the vision of President Donald Trump, welcome to a new era of American leadership in space. You know, it's the greatest privilege of my life to serve as vice president to a president who gets up every day to keep the promises that he made to the American people. In his inaugural address, President Trump recommitted our nation to, in his words, unlock the mysteries of space once again. And today, President Donald Trump will take one more step to ensure that America leads again in the final frontier. With the action he takes today, President Trump will bring a renewed sense of purpose to America's space policy that will benefit literally every facet of our national life, just like it's done in the past. And I'm honored and, frankly, enthusiastic <laughs> about the role that the President's asked me to play in renewing our nation's commitment to space. By the President's actions, we will strengthen our economy. We will unlock new opportunities, new technologies, and new sources of prosperity. We'll inspire our children to seek education in science, technology, engineering, and math. We'll enhance our common defense and advance the security of the American people, but most of all, under President Donald Trump, American leadership in space will strengthen the American spirit. Today, President Trump recommits us as a nation to do what Americans have always done, to lead, to push the boundaries of human knowledge, to blaze new trails into the unknown, and astonish the world with the courage and leadership of the United States. So with gratitude for his inspiring vision, with admiration for his decisive action to renew American leadership here on Earth and in the boundless expanse of space, it is now my high honor and distinct privilege to introduce to all of you the President of the United States of America, President Donald Trump.